Hey gang, you know I have this Chase Bliss CXM 1978. Uh, it's super cool. I know it's super cool. Uh, you got to check out my other video if you want to hear all the cool, uh, sexy, sort of black hole-ish and sustaining stuff that it can do. It also does really nice short rooms. It's a great pedal. Great. Um, but what I want to know today is, will it hold up against a PCM70? Perhaps a Bricasti? Uh, it has some lexicon lineage. It's sort of, I, I think, based on, or you could say its nucleus is a lexicon 224. The CXM goes way past that in terms of uh, it's being able to go hi-fi and lo-fi and really long swirling reverbs and stuff like that. So it can do more than even the Bricasti. The Bricasti is just a realism generator. The PCM70 is just cool vibe. So I don't know if the CXM can do those things. It does cool stuff, but can it just be like your studio reverb? If it can, then that's actually a good price. You know, a thousand bucks compared to a PCM96 or a high-end TC4000 or um, certainly the Bricasti. You know, the thousand bucks now is cheap. Compared to pedals, it's not, but, you know, let's see. So I am going to remove myself from this pretty much. I'm just going into my DAW, and I'm going to try and show you the patches that I'm using. And, uh, but there's going to be no more talking. So make of it what you will. Michael out. Well, a young man ain't nothing in this world these days. Well, a young man ain't nothing in this world these days. Well, a young man ain't nothing in this world these days. Well, a young man. Ain't nothing in this world these days. Oh well, a young man. Ain't nothing in this world these days. Oh well, a young man. Ain't nothing in this world these days. <laughs> 